okay just looking for a 10 minutes wrap it again okay, just going to block this center the center point just for a second just take this off the board <laughs> just developing the knights they're moving quick obviously it's straightforward they're coming for the pawn We'll put the x-ray through onto the onto their queen. It's like they couldn't wait to take the pawn off the board. <laughs> A little bit skittish. Let's open up our dark square bishop. They must have seen this before because they seem to be moving very quickly. happening at the moment we might need to stir up some trouble somewhere let's try and get managing around the center as best possible so maybe start causing some sort oh or maybe they're going to cause the trouble for us Home bishops in our mantra. <coughs> Crack it. Felt like a little bit just had to open my mouth. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Stuck in and diving with this bishop. I'm hoping they're losing important tempi. Um, keep on moving that bishop. They are moving so fast.
where we had to take with the pole it's going to get a fork on us so we have no support here oops stay on So we had no support here for that particular move. <clears throat> so the opponent started started the war on this side and then they've discontinued the action. But this is what we wanted we wanted some sort of attack area to work around the center I think working around the center here works better for us it gives us some activity only issue is we push here, he pushes down onto the knight I can come back here, I can come back there <coughs> on the pole could look to double up so activity is going to happen on this file as far as I can see I think looking to double up is a little bit better we have this he drops gonna give it a try uh, mm, I, I, it's just that it doesn't go much further because he doesn't have to take and he drops onto the knight and then bringing the knight backwards doesn't seem right does it I'm going to double the rooks that seems very straightforward see what I mean they move so quick Six second count. It's got an extra rear through to our queen, so this stuff's kicking off. But now we do have support with the rook, so we could now push this here. Although, if he does go there, his queen is supporting the pawn. Seen something. I'm going to bring the rook across. Time's running out. What is with this? What's this knight move? Takes, pawn takes. Ooh, then I'd lose out. Rook, rook, rook. Need to move a bit quicker. See what this knight wants. He wants nothing. Oops. 
see what the Queen wants. Got to move a bit quicker now. Doesn't want to exchange. That might be a bit of an issue. I thought it was going to be a massive take fest then. left I think it's I just need to just take everything off the board I don't think it looks that bad for us interesting times
I'm not sure why they resigned. They've got three minutes there. I've only got one minute. It's not got increment, has it? What's just ten minute zero? Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. It takes a while for this gauge bar to catch up, so let's just see what's happening here. Plus one at the minute, so there's no major concerns. It's not hit our level of the two mark at the minute, but still a plus one for white, and it's dropping down a bit. So we're just targeting pieces, just simple maneuvers, and they captured. It's reduced the, it's made it a draw with that night move. of advantages with this um, <coughs> rook manoeuvre because we did target this area once we saw that we were, we had an area to attack around the edge of the centre that seemed okay but I'm just wanting to see how the land lay in the computer world in the queen there, there's no issues. <coughs> Slightest of advantages, there's nothing major. So we're not doing anything drastically wrong here either. Um, smaller piece attack and higher piece. Minus one. Hmm. Let's see about this attempt at queen exchanges. Computers don't usually like the queen exchange attempts. Yeah, it's dropped. Was minus one and it's minus 0.65. But we're happy. <coughs> Excuse me. And they probably maybe should have taken. Maybe. I'm actually saying queen b3. No, take him. Yeah, should have taken. So for a brief moment, this attack on around this the edge of the center seems okay. Queen takes. So we're maintaining the smallest <coughs> smallest of advantages from this type of manoeuvre. It's no great shape, it's nothing really to write home about, but at least we're trying to uh, either keep it equal or trying to strengthen up our position a little bit. So at this point I thought this must be just a simple take fest here. 
position of our pieces didn't look that bad. But in these types of positions, it's, it's realistically anybody's game. So we took that chance, so we still got the slightest of advantages, but there's no great shades here. We've really got the same amount of pieces on the board. It's just now the position of the pieces. So I'm, I'm thinking there's something around here, attacking here. We've got a pawn majority and maybe somehow getting to challenge one of these pawns at some stage. I'm just seeing if there's any major dips or anything like that. So we pushed up blocking off the pawn's access coming further down so we'd be able to take if he did push down. Which then gives us a fairly clean attacking process towards this pawn here. So we attack the pawn, bring the bishop through, the knight's coming down attacking, bring the bishop to capture the knight if he jumps into the key square here. I didn't really expect them to actually, but they actually jumped there. So this is the part I'm really interested in. So it's only again the smallest of advantages. <coughs> and it's jumped up now when they've captured. So it's minus one. Is it going any further? Not minus 1.4. So now trying to make the king a deadly king. Getting it highly advanced up the board. You have to be mindful because they do have a bishop. So he starts pushing down, but that allows our king space to go further up the board. And if we can make sure we're managing our king each time it's going onto a dark square, he does have a dark square bishop, so there is potential for the checks. From the opponent's king move there, we've now reached minus 2.2. So that is the the critical marker, you know, the two mark. If we're playing black, if it's minus two, then that's something to be commending ourselves with. It's a strong position. Or if it's plus two for playing as white, same thing. Um, so we pay attention to those. And also, if we've done bad bad moves and it's gone like minus for us, you know, and our limit is the two, we have to pay attention when it hits the two mark. That's just my personal choice. So manoeuvring the knights. As we said, we can expect to get checks on the king, but can we make it a positive? So going opposite their king kind of stops their king from coming further down the board. But also we've got sights on attacking the pawn here. We've got potential for attacking this pawn and eventually maybe taking this pawn off the board and working our pawns together up to the top. Um, long term plan. So the pawn is pushing onto the king. I believe, in a sense, it's kind of losing them tempo. So we bring the king down and we can put a 2 on 1 onto the pawn here. Currently, it's minus 2.83 now. 2.5, it's jumping from 2.6, 2.5, 2.8. And this pawn pushes down so we can grab the pawn now. So we're gaining mini tiny advantages. It's minus 2.9 now. And they push again. And we've hit the minus 3 mark. So we can now just bring our knight down. We've got the two linked pawns at the side of our king. And we can capture the pawns here. And basically just maneuver our king attacking their pawn almost kind of not forcing their pawn to move down but um, the pawn is going to get taken either way and it might dishevel a bit of pressure onto their bishop so it finished with minus 0.4 so that's that's okay so I possibly can see why the opponent may be resigned um, it just felt a little bit early because he does have a bishop and in my head I'm thinking there might still be some play here these types of positions or you can never really tell even though it's showing minus four on there you can still jostle your pieces around and 
gained some advantage somewhere. But maybe this was too much on this occasion.